This your boy Big Creek. Yeah, you already know what it is, man. What's happening, bro, bro? You now rocking with the chaotic vibes. Yeah. Of DJ C Chaos. <laughs> On IndioRadio.com. Yeah, yeah, check, check, check. You know what's going on. DJ C Chaos, Chaotic Vibes Podcast. NDORadio.com. We are in the building. It's Thursday. It's Throwback Thursday. We're going to do what we does. We got the uh, big homie Pasha on the way. He's on the way. He is on the way. T.I.G. in the motherfucking building. Judeg. Izzy, how you doing? Izzy's getting his shit together. We're not going to get there right now. Izzy's doing still good, getting bro. his shit together. I'm doing good. You good? Yes, okay, sir. cool. That's my nigga. You doing all right then. It's Thursday. The pollen is kicking my ass in this motherfucker. Hey, shout out to Cam. Cam a real nigga. He came in with some Claritin. That's dope. Like, <laughs> niggas, real niggas bring Claritin to the studio. But, um, damn, got t-shirts and shit. We're going to get into uh, pasta in just a second. But before we do that, um, tonight, tonight, Thursday, April, what's today? Fourth? To the fourth? The fourth? Yes, I think sir. it's the fourth. We got Bloody J in the motherfucking building. V Live. We going crazy. Me and my man G Code on the ones and twos. Pasta in the motherfucking building. What's going on, big homie? But um, yeah, we got uh Thursday night, V Live, Bloody J in this motherfucker. We're gonna go crazy. It's a T it feel like TIG day. We got a whole bunch of TIG shit going on today. My nigga Pasta on the live, trying to get the live right. Hey, shout out to Cam. Cam been working hard. I've been knowing Cam for like a year and some change now. Shout out to the managers in the world. What's going on, Pasta? How you? You good? Go ahead, get on the mic. What's happening? Stretch, What's it happening? Stretch it out. Get comfortable. Hey, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. my nigga. <laughs> Let the world know who you are. Let them know who you are, where you from. Yeah, um, go ahead, put it right there. For, hey, my name is Possum, man. Um, from Mobile, Alabama. You feel me? Um, signed with TIG. Just recently, you know what I'm saying? Signed with Warner Brothers, you feel me? So, so you got the TIG and the Warner Brothers thing going on? Yeah, they the machine. Okay. You feel me? So, Ain't mad at that? So, so, so being from Alabama, like, first of all, you like the what is it, the second or third artist we have from Alabama? Alabama's pumping motherfucker. What y'all got going on down there? Hey, y'all man. breeding hey, man, fucking got, the artists got, right now. We got a lot of, we, we can't, we cuss. Right? Yeah, yeah, do yeah, your thing. Yeah, 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 we got a lot of niggas coming out the city, bro. Like, yeah. Niggas doing their thing, bro, for real. Yeah, y'all got some shit going on. We done, we done interviewed a couple motherfuckers. Got a couple hits coming out there, motherfucker. Yeah. Um, we do, what do we do? We do Volcano once a month. Down there on a Sunday, and uh, y'all, y'all show the fuck out. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I know Birmingham and Mobile, two totally different spots, but I think Alabama as a whole is going crazy right now. Yeah. How it feel to be from Alabama and y'all like are starting to blossom and really get some attention and notoriety? Hey man, feel good, man. You know we we from the bottom, bro. Yeah. We from the slum. <laughs> man, we but, ain't, we get it from the mud. Hey hey, do y'all got a problem with the A? Cause every time I go down there, they be like, "This the real A." Like nigga, nah, fuck all that bougie shit. This the real A. Like I got, I'm not from Atlanta, so I don't, I don't take offense to it. Yeah, where you from? I'm from New York. New York. Yeah, yeah most yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Nah, shit. I mean. Is there pressure? Is there underlying ain't no pressure? pressure. Nah, ain't no pressure on that. You know what I'm saying? It's the South. But you know what I'm saying? You know, we just sit more lower. You yeah. feel me? And you know what I'm saying? It's just down there. Everything slow. We get everything late. You That's feel me? So, you know, it ain't really no opportunities down there, bro. Yeah. Like, we ain't riding just, we ain't just riding foreign down there like yeah. how they do it in the A. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You still seeing niggas with Chevys, still yeah. throwing 26 on that bit. You know what, what I'm you, saying? What you driving? What you got? Shit, I'm, I'm thugging right now, bro. Ah! I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that. <laughs> so, so being in, uh, do you live here now? Do you live in the A? Yeah. You live in the A? Yeah. How's it feel? It's like, how's the transition? Uh, shit, you know, every day something new. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But, you know. Y'all consider this like the big city? Yeah. Like it's the big yeah, city? It's cool. Yeah, it's just like home. It's just, you know what I'm saying? Just a little bit bigger. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. Okay. That's all right, man. Pasta in the mic. Hey, first of all, for everybody out there, repeat your name because we was in a TIG meeting the other day, me and all the DJs, and we was like, Posa, Pasa. Pasta post. We ain't know how to do it. So go ahead and let everybody know officially yeah. how you say that. Yeah, but now you said pasta. Yeah. Pasta. You know what I'm saying? It look like it's spelled like post. You yeah. feel me? But it's pasta though. So how, how, how did that name come about? What is that? Oh, Where did that name come man, from? It came back, man. Back when I was in high school. Bro, yeah. Like 10th grade, playing for the school, basketball, you feel me? And I had hurt my hip. And I had um, I had to sit out for the rest of the season. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? I just took it amongst myself, you know what I'm saying, to write a book. In the hood that I grew up, you know what I'm saying? I based that book on that. Yeah. You feel me? So you wrote a book? Yeah. In high school? Yeah. You know so how, how, how do you, because to, to write a book respectfully, <clears throat> you got to be somewhat intelligent. How do you do that from going from that to rapping? Not to say that rapping is less intelligent, but 
Yeah. It's that's not the stereotype. I don't know, man. You know, growing up, you you know what I'm saying, we grew up watching number hood stories, you know what yeah. I'm saying, hood movies. So everybody wanted to be in a hood movie, you know what I'm saying? And I was one of the characters in mine. So and that's why I came up with the name Pasa and mm -hmm. I just stuck with it. So how did that how did that transition into rap though? So I, I was rapping in, you oh. feel me? That's yeah. So what what is one of the biggest influences coming out of Alabama? Like Alabama when we go, it's always late at night. We don't never really see too much going on. It's always damn near deserted. Everything closed early. It's just kind of like, what, what is the inspiration in Alabama for Pasa to come to the A, TIG, Warner Brothers, and all that and get all this money shining and shit? Like, right? what's, what's going on? What's, what's the inspiration? Shit, man. It was just time to go, you know what I'm saying? The inspiration is to, you know, the overall inspiration is success. Yeah. You feel me? So... I was just in a stagnant, in a stagnant space. You know what I'm saying? Like shit was cool. You know what I'm saying? The city fuck with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They getting money in the city, but you know it's just bigger than money, bro. It's just you know, you want to goddamn lay the foundation, like, and really just start seeing the overall success, and other than just being success in your city. Yeah. You feel me? So I had to go to where it's popping at. You know what I'm saying? You know Atlanta, just like the, the new method. You like feel me? You know what I'm saying? Because you got to think about it, bro. At one point in time, you know, Houston had it. Yeah, you know what definitely. I'm saying? New York, y'all yeah, had it. You feel me? Shit, in New Orleans. But see, like, I think, I think, like, what you saying that, like, I think Alabama sits in a unique space where y'all get some of both sides of the spectrum. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. when I go to, when I go to uh, Alabama, I get the Tennessee artists, I get the Houston artists, I get the New Orleans artists, like they don't necessarily always make it to the A and if, even if they do, the A so big and there's so many different places yeah. to go, like how how is that an influence, on, especially on your music, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all get yeah. everything right there. Like I get put on the music when I go down there. Yeah, like really, <clears throat> music ain't really my influence though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That just, you know, high expression. That's just your you outlet. Like, you know, everything I go through, bro, everything when I rape, Coming up, you know what I'm saying? Like back, you know, when my big brother was heavy in the streets, bro, I was in middle school, bro. Yeah. You feel me? Like when I went to the sixth grade, bro, I was on probation in fifth grade going to the sixth. God damn, <laughs> I even know they gave probation. You know what I'm saying? And I was nigga, I was like back then, nigga, I was trying to hide that shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You like, nah, it's, it's a new generation with goddamn well, you know what I'm saying, you know. The niggas who ain't even from the hood, they want to be the street niggas. Yeah, that shit almost like a badge of honor. You know what I'm saying? You know, I was raised around, you know, niggas where if they was in the streets, they ain't even want niggas in the streets to know they was in the streets. That's a fact. That's you a feel me? So like, fact. Nah, it's like, you know, niggas, niggas want to be have that street. That street credibility is so bad, a nigga go do anything. Niggas step outside the element, bro, just yeah. to get respect from another nigga and That's say you're a, a street nigga, bro. That's a big fact. So, but yeah, bro, like, man, my, my inspiration, just everything I go through. You know what I'm saying? Everyday life type shit. Most definitely. So you hear that shit in my music. Like, you know, I ain't just on that bitch talking about Jerry and, you know what I'm saying? You know, fucking bitches and all that nah, shit. Nah, like, we got some yeah. shit. I actually, I had hit Cam way before we set this interview up about some of your music. Yeah. Like, yeah. most definitely, the music speaks for itself. I'm not going to lie. But let's, let's talk about how you, how did the TIG situation present itself? And why, why pick TIG? Like, if you could pick anybody in Atlanta, why did you pick, or did you pick TIG? Or did they just come to you? Man, I was I was watching Fly before way before. Shout out to Fly and Day Day and uh, uh, OT over there at TIG, good brothers. I, I rock with them. I've been a fan of TIG, you know what I'm uh -huh. saying. Way before, goddamn, I had anything to do with them, you know what I'm saying. Even you know watching Trinidad come up under the uh, rich home. Yeah. Then you know Lucha, how, you know how Lucha just came out of nowhere. And he yeah. and he got down, took over the streets fast, bro. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying. He was getting more shows than niggas who had major deals. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Shout out but, to Lucha. But goddamn, MLK put the whole thing together, bro. Okay. DJ MLK. Shout out to the big homie. Yeah. You know, he over there at Ground Hustle. Yeah. You feel me? So I ran into him at 1145 one night, you know what I'm saying? And my homegirl, she used to work up in that shit, so we used to get up in there for free. Yeah. So I just go up in there and just, you know, pop around to see who up in there and pour. You Politic feel me? Politics and shit. So goddamn, I seen him in the DJ booth. And I was like, damn, that MLK over there, boy. You know, I've been fucking with MLK yeah. back, you know, back. When he dropped the mixtape, yeah. well, uh, T.I. called Year in the Day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when I seen him, I just wanted a photo with him. You feel me? So I took a picture, and then he was like, man, let me see your phone. Send it to your phone, bro. So he sent that shit, and then I was like, bro, you mind if I get your email? I'm seeing some shit. Yeah. So I sent him a song, and then the next day. What song you sent him? 
it, this song ain't even that, bro. Uh, this song <laughs> called Same Thing, bro. Yeah. Like, it's hey, old. One thing, one thing I'm going to say right now, I'm a very prideful DJ. If I don't have music and I hear it out, I'm going to be very, very upset. I'm going to call up my call cam. Yeah. It's going to be yeah. pressure. I'm going to let you know that. It's going to be yeah. pressure. If yeah. I'm out anywhere and I hear a song and I don't have it, yeah. Oh no, no! It's your fault. They gonna hey, you getting in? Hey, man. I need. I, I'm gonna have big pressure. I'm fucking right. We gonna blackball Pasnaj. Oh. <laughs> nah, real shit though. Uh, so you sent him a song. Yeah. What was it again? Uh, name of the song called Same Thing. Okay, and then what happened? You feel me? And uh, and he was like, man, I'm fucking with him. He like the next day I sent that bit, and then he was like, man, I'm fucking with this song, boy. What you gonna do with it? Yeah. So shit, you know, I ain't know what to do with the motherfucker then. You know, I was just, you know, doing what I've been doing. Just you know what I'm saying? Doing that like, shit. Like, you feel me? <clears throat> and then he was like, bro, I want to put Luch on him, motherfucker. So at the time, he was working on mixtape. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So he reached out to Fly and sent the song over to him to get Luch on it. You know what I'm saying? To throw on his project, on MLK project. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Fly ended up hearing it. Then he was like, bro, fuck with that, bro. Like, you think you get old, buddy? You know what I'm saying? Kanana? Yeah. Feel me? So he hit me back. Then he was like, shit, bro, fly fucking with you, bro. He want to meet you Monday. When you come down, y'all yeah. said, nigga, I'm, I'm finna get on the road now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For real. So that's how it happened, bro. So so was it like, and it could be perceived either way, but like a, a situation like, like T.I.G. got both sides of the spectrum. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They got Trinidad James, Rich Homie Kwan, then they got Lucci. So it's like, did that make you nervous at all to say, like, and I'm not saying that either one of the success of either careers was their fault, but that is, it's a tie together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So T.I.G. had Trinidad James, who is not doing as well as, you know, most might <laughs> have thought, and yeah. saying with Rich Homie, but then they got Lucci, who's doing crazy, Q Money, yeah. who's going crazy. So like, did that scare you at all? Like, damn, I don't know what side of the spectrum I'm going to fall on. Nah, nah, don't scare me. Yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, that's their situation, you feel me? Most definitely. So, you know, I'm me, you know what I'm saying? Factual. Like, you know, whatever happened with them, that's that's them, bro. So, nah, that don't affect me at all, bro. That's all right. So, how did the Warner Brothers shit come about? Just through T.I.G.? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Distribution? <laughs> no. Okay, you don't want to get into it. We're going we to get the particulars one day. But, um, uh, nah, so, like, how, how does someone who comes from a background like yourself, coming from Alabama, how do you stay away from sounding like everybody else? Because you don't sound like everybody else. When we hear your record, like even as DJs, like we're in a room full of DJs, yeah. and everybody's like, nah, Holmes is, like we, we got several records, yeah. but you was in the top three. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And of course it's because you're a priority, but at the same time, you, you were picked out. So like, how yeah. do you stand out? How do you make sure you stand out in today's society of music? Shit, man, tell you the truth, bro, all the way, 100, bro, like, I don't listen to nobody, bro. Yeah. Like, it ain't nobody who I got in my, I, uh, I, I, don't, my I, I, I got to pull up the list. Some of the road men and somebody, what are yeah, you man. really <laughs> listening to in the car, man? God okay. damn it. God I damn it. I listen to some old <laughs> ass shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like some, not saying that I don't, I don't know nothing, you feel yeah. me? Like, you know, if I'm... And the car, some shit, you know, I hear it on the radio, but it ain't gonna be nothing I just go search for. Like, yeah, yeah. It's just like, gotta really just catch me. I don't not try even, to pay attention to nobody. Not even, not even like favorite art. Like, do you have to, like, does that stay the same when you get signed and you own? Like, I, I'm not, I it, know you still develop. It be like, it be like, I, I got down, I watch how niggas approach shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't even be the fan of the, you know, the music, you know, of course the music, but it be like how a nigga got down, you know, it may, it may be some simple shit. How a nigga walk on stage or some shit. Yeah. You feel that, that'll make you a fan of you the feel, art. I don't oh, know. It may be something he may speak on or, yeah. or what he stand for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It may be something different, bro. You feel me? Like, Did you have a favorite rapper growing up? Oh, uh, shit. It's Lil' Hot Boys. You feel me? Okay. Uh, shit, Pimp C. You know, Pimp oh, yeah. C got See, that's down. what I'm saying. Though. Like, she, like, where I'm from, those people got names. Don't get me mm -hmm. wrong. But they're not prominent in our history like like you know the music but they they didn't break through new york yeah. scene like when i was younger and like i had to come to the south to really get like gain appreciation yeah. for them so that's what i mean by alabama just sitting in that y'all used to damn respect us though bro i mean and, and i can't <laughs> speak for the whole new york but it's, it, yeah. it it seemed that way like they, it was it was not but i mean who, who's not like that you know what I'm saying? Like the eight now, I could walk around the eight and niggas be like, oh man, yeah, fuck y'all New York niggas. Y'all niggas really want to be us now. Y'all yeah. trying to gain our sound. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah. I think that's just a, a sportsman like 
cockiness that niggas yeah. walk around with once they, you know, once they city is popping or whatever's going on. But so you said hot boys, you said pimp she, and uh, none of these people. Just um, man, just like kind of everybody who is in that era. You yeah. feel me? Um, shit, she got that. You know, Jeezy. You know, baby. Okay. Ti first came out. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Even back, you know, when Gucci man was throwing out a mixtapes out. You yeah. know what I'm oh, saying? Definitely. Beating the streets up. He had a, he had a crazy yeah, little. Jewels. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so now we now you we get okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, now we fuck with all of them from all of them. You know what I'm saying? What's yeah. that? I like that. You know the depth man. You know they. Yeah, go, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about it. Yeah. 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 You know the nigga Zeke. Yeah, oh, go, yeah. bro. <laughs> dude, now he knows something. I ain't mad at you. you My nigga Possum knowing something out here. Uh, uh, shit, who else, bro? Oh, shit. Of course, Boosie, you know. Back, you know, you know, some of the camp. Um, Boosie. Shit, uh, I fuck with Gates. Like now, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with Future, too. Yeah, Future. Yeah. Okay. So you sound like you got an eclectic like background musically. You know what I'm saying? Like it don't sound like you just stayed in one area or one genre or one yeah. region. You know what I'm saying? Like it sound like you got a kind of taste of everything. And that and that to me speaks to why your music sounds the way. Like whether you realize it or recognize it, that to me mm -hmm. sounds like that's why your music yeah. sounds as good and pure and organic as it does. Yeah. You know what I mean? Appreciate that, bro. Real life. Real life. Um What's the what's the climate like over there at uh, TIG? Because you know, coming in new, like I know me, like I'm I'm this would be my third year DJing, like in big clubs and strip clubs and yeah. shit like that. So I know for me, like when I walk in the building, sometimes the climate's like, man, who the fuck is this new nigga? Like who he think he is? Like how how's the climate over there with all the superstars and whatnot? Um, climate. Climate as a what? Like, what you mean? Like, like, do you feel accepted? Do you feel like, you know what I'm saying? You walk in the building, niggas like, ah, oh, yeah, the nigga, are you the rookie? Like, yeah, nah, nah, don't, nah, you know, don't, don't nobody treat a nigga like a rookie or whatever. <laughs> it's all love, though, bro. Nah, that's real you life. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, they treated me, they treated me real good over there. But like yeah. I said, like, as like, I'm just being in the industry and not having as many years as the bigger niggas. You just gotta like, earn your, you just gotta earn most your definitely, keeps. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know how this shit go. Nigga might be like, oh, you the young nigga. Or you the, yeah. you know, you the little dog. Or you ain't got this, you ain't got that. Yeah, like, I, don't you know. give, I don't care about none of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I ain't mad. I don't bro. care about no whips. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As long as, you know what I'm saying? I'm straight. Yeah. People straight. Paperwork. I can take care of my kids and shit. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Shout out to them kids for sure. Feel yeah, me? So, um. I'm going to talk on this record just because this was one of the records I actually hit Cam about. Uh, that In a Minute, You and Q Money. Yeah. It's one of my favorite records I've heard from you. I yeah. don't have a whole bunch of tracks from you, but I've what you heard. Got? What you got? Ah, uh, shit. I got In a Minute. I got uh, Big Dog. And what else you just sent me? And Trap Love. Yeah. So we pushing, we 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 pushing, we pushing big dog. No, I know we pushing big dog. Like I didn't went to the Trap Carolinas. Love, bro. I went to the Carolinas. I'm gonna tell you this. Shout out to G Code. I went to the Carolinas, and homie was like, "Yo, if you ain't doing nothing else, like mind you, we don't already had the meeting about you." Yeah. Went to the Carolinas. G Code say, "I don't tell you nothing else. We're pushing this pasta." I'm like, damn, like I just had to mean about Possum. Nah, I'm telling you right now, Possum <laughs> Big Dog is going to go. I'm like, hey, I'm really like, hey, dog, I appreciate yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? I got the yeah, record, yeah, but yeah, I appreciate yeah. that. But I'm not going to lie, Big Dog had to grow on me. I'm not going to lie to you. It had to grow on me when I first heard it. It was like, eh, whatever. In a minute, when I first heard it, yeah. I felt it. It was like, oh, I like this record. Yeah. It's hard. Can I push this Why record? I like that one better, though. It just feel better. Like, all right, I, I DJ mostly strip clubs. So the vibe in that motherfucker, sometimes you want to throw on that in a minute rather than that big dog. That big dog, you know, it's the typical speed yeah. and it got that bounce. It's aggressive. It. Yeah, you're like, okay, yeah. cool. That's cool. Yeah. But sometimes you want that vibe. Yeah. And I felt like in a minute had that vibe. So um, <clears throat> I want to talk about it for a hot second. You got Q Money on that. Yeah. Was that pure, purely T.I.G. saying y'all niggas no. need to do a track together? Nah, or? hell nah. Like, that's, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's something that they, you know, T.I.G., they don't force shit. Yeah. Yeah, man, so be, you and Q just yeah, hell locked yeah. In. It's like shit. Y'all figure it out on y'all. You know, yeah. we family. Yeah, you yeah. feel me? But like, we want y'all to goddamn get up now. Like when y'all feel it's right. You feel mm -hmm. me? So, but now nah, Q Mano was just at the studio that that night. We had the same session or the same time in the same studio. He yeah. was just in a different room, mm -hmm. and he just came up and had to come fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? What's up? What's up? Yeah. And goddamn, I had just laid down the uh, like. I'm gonna tell you the truth, bro. I ain't know which way to go with that yeah. motherfucker at first, bro. Cause 
I was just going off the top of the head, and then, you know, the first verse, it was the first verse in the hook was actually the whole verse. Yeah. It was that, the, uh, he needs so yeah. yeah. So he needs so yeah. But that, like, to me, that's the hard part. That's like, like, like we yeah. singing that moment, but that's hard. You know what I'm saying? I had to stop right there. You yeah. feel me? So I'm like, damn, bro, should I come in with a second verse? <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. And goddamn, Q was like, oh, I'm fucking with this. Yeah. So goddamn Q jumped in the, he jumped in the goddamn studio. Yeah. I ain't say nothing. Yeah. He like, man, play the second verse, but I'm fucking with that. So goddamn Q just started freestyling. He just jump in. That's how he do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So goddamn, he just started going on top of the head. I like, yeah, but that shit fine. But shit, bro. Man, we probably need to goddamn just stick to the melody. Yeah. First four bars, you feel me? Yeah. And then goddamn shit, you can do what you want after that, bro. Yeah. Let's just see if that shit works. If it don't work, all good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he went up and had stuck to the same man. Um, 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 for me, yeah. You feel me? So yeah. I like, but well, this shit hard. That shit that look, bad. Man. Look, that man. shit ain't no working, bro. Look, man, I'm gonna tell you like this. They played the record, and I want to say it was like 10 to 15 DJs in the room, and everybody just like, hold on, stop, wait a minute, hold on. Yeah. That motherfucker is a go. Like, why are we not pushing that? But. We had already seen that y'all was already doing the marketing. Yeah, big, big dog. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And, and speak on that because I seen it on all the buses and some more shit. Like, how does that yeah. feel? To, like, you worked this hard and now you <laughs> walk out the door. You know, you you got billboards. It's in the city at that. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's, how does that feel? That shit right there, man. That was something. You got you got him on the buses in Alabama too. Nah. Okay, uh -uh. just out. So you yeah. in Atlanta with it? Yeah, I'm in Atlanta. You feel me? <laughs> That's like, how does that feel? It's not even your city. It's not where you're from. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and to be, not to say that it's not paid for, but it's, it's still being welcome. Yeah. Like like I said, nigga, we, it's 10, 15 DJs that they never met. This is my first time meeting you. Bro, that, that was an honor right there. It was like, man, shit, bro. I had got down. I shared a tip that shit. <laughs> that real and shit, though. You know, bro, you know where we from, bro. Like, my neighborhood got down, sit right off right off the interstate. Yep. Like, it's a gate that, that separates that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So shit, you know, I see billboards just walking up the street. Yeah. You feel me? I, you know, every yeah, nigga want a billboard, bro. Everybody, so I ain't gonna front. I want a billboard. We gonna work on that. I need to talk to management, goddammit. So goddamn, me saying that shit, like, you feel me? And, you know, we, I ain't even know. She got down, a bitch sent it to my dog, bro. Yeah. Goddamn, when she called him first, she like, man, you know, goddamn, pots on billboards out here. <laughs> and goddamn, he was like, man, what the fuck you talking about, bro? Hell nah, nigga, I'm with the nigga every day. <laughs> It's like, man, how you supposed to be his home, boy? And his role manager, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got the answer. So she sent it. I like, damn. You know, the label ain't say nothing yeah, either, bro. Of course not. They ain't say nothing. So do you got billboards in the city now? Nah, like, do you. people treat you different now? Nah, I, I, I hey. know, like, yeah. look, look. I'm from New York. <laughs> Niggas call me every day like, oh, son, yo, you doing your shit, man. Yeah, I see yeah, you're a big yeah, star, yeah, my yeah, nigga. Yeah. Like, oh, shit, you in the yeah. trip club every day. Like, what is it like? Yeah, what is it like? Yeah, the love, you know, it's different. It's love and hate, don't get it wrong. Yeah. I got hate. I ain't gonna lie. Niggas call me every day. Talking about they gonna it's hold different, me. bro, because, you know, goddamn, you know, nigga always, you know, been, you know what I'm saying, known and shit. Yeah. It's just like a different type of known, not, bro. Yeah. It's kind of different. Like, it's, yeah, it's, it's cool. Right. It's cool, but it, it be like, shit, nigga. It's a, you're a target. Is it different now? Like, you can't go to the mall, you can't go sit down yeah, and still go shit. to the mall. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It just got to be on goddamn... I see you yeah, like on extra, security Like, you got to be like on that. point, point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because, shit, you know, why shit? Why you ain't looking, somebody else looking. Goddamn. That's a fucking fact. That is a big dog you fact. Said. So, one thing I want to do, I want to get into this pasta Q money uh, in a minute. Let me know who engineered it. Let me know who uh, produced it. Uh, my dog, uh, David. He engineered it, and uh, Sam Skrilla produced the beat. Mm -hmm.